Hello, if you're here, you will have realized that the density node that we've been using in a lot of procedural content generation has unceremoniously disappeared in the most recent version of Unreal Engine. This node was pretty much used in every tutorial that I've made on PCG, and so I wanted to take a look at this and see if I could find out what happened. Up until Unreal Engine 5.2, when we were in the procedural content generation graph here, we could drag off of the surface sampler or somewhere else in our graph and create a density noise. We would often use this density noise right before a density filter, which we could use to control how many points we wanted to use in the next part of the graph. However, in more recent versions of Unreal Engine, if we drag off of the surface sampler here and try to make a density noise, nothing comes up. So I dug into the release notes for the most recent version of Unreal Engine and I found this. Change density noise into attribute noise node to support noise on all attributes. So now if we come back to the engine and we drag off here and let's try to make a attribute noise, it does indeed come up. And if we look at this, it's actually very similar to the density noise node we used before. There's a few other options here, but we can still set the noise min and noise max. And if we come over here and add a density filter right after it, we're going to get pretty much the same result. So from now on, just substitute the density noise node for this attribute noise node in all your graphs and you should be good to go. I hope you found this video helpful. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about this specifically. Thankfully, this time it was an easy fix. Throw me a thumbs up or a comment if you liked this video so other people can find it as well and I will see you in the next one.